That's what I did. I put Lomachenko uh, in the top 10 after his first fight. By split decision, Orlando City. For your winner by unanimous decision, and now the undisputed lightweight champion of the world, the takeover, Teofimo Lopez! Hey, that was great stuff. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So by Vasily Lomachenko's own admission, he said it took him two years to get over the loss to Teofimo Lopez. Well, guys, if it took him two years to get over that loss, imagine how long it's going to take him to get over the Devin Haney loss. Because clearly, for Lomachenko to make an admission like that, that means he doesn't care how many fans say he won the fight. He needed the judges to say he won the fight. I mean, that's like somebody being convicted of a crime and sentenced to jail by the judge. And then you got your friends saying, hey, man, I know you're innocent. Don't worry about it. We believe you were innocent, man. You think that's going to make the man who's rotten in jail feel better? Of course not, because he still has to do the time. So he appreciates his friends saying, hey, man, I think you're innocent. But he really only cares about the judge and the jury's decision. You know, guys, there's many reasons why the Devin Haney loss was the most devastating loss to Lomachenko. For one reason is because Devin Haney, he said he would never lose to a white boy. And then at the weigh-in, he basically punked Lomachenko when he pushed him. Because that wasn't one of those little fake friendly pushes just to promote a fight. That was a real push. And a really interesting thing is Lomachenko actually revealed why he broke out into tears in the dressing room and start crying after that fight. Because he had thought about the promise he made to his son telling him that he would come back with all the belts being undisputed. So you can imagine, Lomachenko's son is pissed off. He sees his dad get basically violated at the weigh-in. This dude is saying, I would never lose to a white boy. You guys have to understand, white supremacy runs rife in countries like Ukraine, Russia, and many other European countries. That's where all those racist soccer fans come from. So that put a lot of pressure on Lomachenko going into the Devin Haney fight. Just like Manny Pacquiao had an enormous amount of pressure going into the Floyd Mayweather fight. Loma knew he had to win this fight more than any other fight. But instead, he loses and gets sentenced to a third loss on his record. And Lomachenko is serving the time right now. Because nobody is going to remove those losses from his record. Well, at least outside of ESPN. For those of you guys who don't know, ESPN not once but twice put up a graphic. And literally changed his record from being 14-1 to 14 and 0 undefeated so their motto clearly was if they don't like what happened in the past just delete it just remove it and it's funny because the first time they put the graphic up they put them down as 14 and 0 with one draw and then it's like they waited to see if there was going to be any backlash if anyone was going to pay attention or say anything and since nobody said anything about it it gave them more confidence so they put up a graphic on another fight where this time they just had him as undefeated. No draw, just straight undefeated. This just goes to show you guys how long old media has been flying under the radar. And as long as nobody is paying attention to what they're doing, they will get bolder and bolder with pushing their propaganda and misleading the public. If they ever did a Netflix documentary on the corruption in boxing, man, it would be so many episodes, they would probably need multiple seasons. But unfortunately for ESPN and Lomachenko, the more losses Loma got, the more difficult it became to mislead the public. I mean, it's funny. Just think about how many casual fans watched that graphic and was talking to their friends, went back to work, debating with their friends, telling them that the guy is undefeated. They said, no, I just seen it on ESPN. They put it on the screen. He's undefeated. He doesn't have any losses. Only in the sport of boxing. The wild, wild west of all sports. So anyway, getting back to Lomachenko, as if you guys didn't already know, Lomachenko obviously has no interest in fighting against Shakur Stevenson. He had an opportunity to be in a bigger fight, get a bigger payday, and get a bigger win if he could have beat Shakur Stevenson. 
Instead, he decided to fight George Cambosis, which means the Devin Haney loss completely destroyed his confidence. How else can you explain taking less money in a smaller fight for less risk? So Lomachenko made it very clear by his own actions that he had a lot of respect for Shakur Stevenson, but it's actually worse than we thought. Because Lomachenko's team member, he made an astonishing revelation. He basically said that Shakur Stevenson is better than Lomachenko. It's too hard of a fight for Lomachenko to win. And when I say Lomachenko's team member said that Shakur was better, he called Shakur Stevenson the 2.0 version of Lomachenko. He said he's the Matrix 2.0 version. Been the more likely fight, it seems like, is Shakur Stevenson. Um, what do you think about him and how difficult I, a fight I, do you think? I, very difficult fight. Very difficult fight from a stylistic perspective because Shakur is that good. You know, he's so he's so gifted. He's so you know he's like a he's like a, he's like the Matrix 2.0 version of, of Lomachenko. You know, he's a, he's so gifted. You, you can't hit him with a handful of rice. So it's uh, it, that's a stylistically very difficult fight. How confident would you be? I mean, I know you're gonna be confident, but how confident would you be if for Loma to pick up that win against Shakur if they were to face off? Man? Listen, that would be a, that would be a big worrisome fight. You know, that would be a very difficult fight simply because of the fact, and, and it might not even be a fan friendly fight either you know because both of them are so good defensively Loma the smaller guy would have to try to make the fight a little bit more and Shakur has that beautiful back step where he can just step back and he, he judges distance so great he's so well coached uh he does things so great in there stylistically it's a tough fight that was so interesting for so many reasons because if you guys notice even after the team member, Lomachenko's team member, said that Shakur Stevenson is the Matrix 2.0, still the reporter, he was trying to get this guy to say that we will beat him, though. Because he said, now, I know obviously you guys are confident you guys will win. How confident are you guys that you will win this fight? And instead of the guy saying we will win this fight, he responds again by saying that is going to be a very, very difficult fight to win. That was his answer when he was asked, were they confident they would win the fight? You know, it's amazing when you think about it. As talented, as accomplished as Lomachenko has been in the sport of boxing, amateur and pro, with people like Dan Raphael comparing him to Floyd Mayweather, saying Lomachenko would have beat Floyd Mayweather in a fantasy match. Bob Arum saying that Lomachenko is better than Ali, better than Floyd Mayweather, better than Sugar Ray Leonard. You would think this kind of fighter would have all the confidence in the world, and in fact, it would be the Shakur Stevensons that would be afraid to get in the ring with Lomachenko and not vice versa. At the end of the day, you can obviously lose in the sport of boxing and still be considered great. Fighters like Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Robinson, they have proven this. But the difference from them is they avenge the losses on their records. Lomachenko now has three losses on his record and he hasn't avenged any of them. And now he's not even showing any interest in fighting Shakur Stevenson. Matter of fact, they asked him at the press conference for the George Cambosis fight, are you still dreaming of being undisputed? He used to always say that was his ultimate dream. Now that Shakur Stevenson has one of the belts, Lomachenko is saying, I'm not even focused on being undisputed. I'm just focused on George Cambosis. So it sounds like Lomachenko has accepted he will never be the best, but he will always have a way to make money to feed his family, to take care of his family as just a professional boxer with a belt. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. So to get this hookup, make sure you follow and contact my man, Scalp Carolinas, on Instagram. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, 
visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.